Distance learning days are just a great way for our teachers to be able to have live instruction for students, to be able to check in on students to make sure that they are getting the information they need and to assist them. And what I really do need to say too is our teachers and our staff have been incredible. The amount of work that they continue to do, but the amount of adjustments and the flexibility because this year has been certainly a year where they need to have a lot of flexibility, where they can make sure that they adapt the way they teach, the way that our students learn, but be able to adapt uh, over on the fly, really, because there are so many different needs for so many different students. I've been stronger as a teacher because of distance learning. Uh, I've been more purposeful. I have been more willing to try things out of my comfort zone. And um, even whenever we were on the hybrid, I actually feel like I got to know my students better in smaller groups. Um, and then as far as the students go, I think they've grown, they've become better self-advocates. I get more emails now um, because we've done distance learning with students asking for extra help, asking can they revise an assignment to do something better. And so just the growth in self-advocacy for students has been tremendous. I think that's important for the community to know that we're really trying hard to balance um, all the social, emotional, and academic needs of our students. Um, we're not just planning lessons that will keep them engaged. That's always what we want to do. We want to make sure that we're providing rigor and that we're meeting the standards. So we're balancing all the things we do in the classroom, but without being able to physically lay eyes and uh, you have to do a whole lot more up front and you still have to send the message to the students that even though you're through a screen, we, we care about you, we hear you, and we want you to be successful. Regardless of the learning environment, whether it's in person, whether it is virtual, or whether it's five, which is full virtual, we still follow the state standards and the pacing guides that we have established here in the district. So the content-wise is going to be covered whether you're in person or whether you're virtual. When we started five, we were figuring this all out together and coping with a lot of unknowns. The students placed a lot of trust in us. The families placed a lot of trust in us and we need to, needed to work together to come together and to build community and make it as engaging and as school focused as possible. And we've been learning together and we've, I think we've accomplished that. So the difference is I find that actually I have to be even more purposeful. I have to design the lessons for engagement and that takes that takes a lot more time, which I'm happy to do. I love doing it. I think it's making me even better. I'm learning new strategies and I'm working together with the students. So I haven't seen a decline in rigor. I really believe in continuous improvement and I think you have been able to see from day one until now the, the ability for our teachers to adapt. In regular school years, there's always continuous improvement. Certainly moving forward, you'll see, you'll see more um, virtual and distance type learning activities taking place using the resources that we have, but also using a lot of those best practices of in-person learning that we've learned and established over the years and really combine those to give our students an even better education than they've ever had.